Hi everyone, welcome to the last video on this um, Rita Berman page with all the lovely ice creams. It's been such good fun to uh, to colour the page. It's a bit sad that we're coming to an end, but we have to finish it at some point. So here we are. And we have this sort of lolly with a heart design on it to do. I'm going to start with the stick and I'm going to use number 73 to uh, colour the stick. I'm going to start with just a light layer. Now it's quite a liney sort of um, colouring but I think that's okay because it's a wooden stick. But I've missed out that bit, the crescent shape which I think is supposed to be white. I can make that bit a little bit darker and then just do a little more. I'm not going to do too much on there. It's odd how it's shiny. I don't know what sort of lolly stick would be shiny but it is, so that's that. Now I'm going to start with the hearts because I think I'd like them to be pink and then I'm just going to sort of work out from there really. I'm going to use this 23 which is a really dark pink, almost red, for the hearts. And I'm going to colour them in quite solidly. And then sort of think about what else to do with this. It's a very nice design, isn't it? I can't imagine. Can you imagine trying to freeze a lolly with the heart design through the middle? Quite tricky, wouldn't it? But here we are with a beautiful one and lots of fun to colour. So all the way around. And I'm going to use this colour elsewhere as well. I think we'll keep it to a reasonably limited palette. I just realised we've got a lot of pink going on in this one, but you know, it is what it is. We've got quite a lot of pink, nearly everything's got pink in, to be honest, because uh, I've missed one out. Why have I done that? <laughs> I don't know. And I'm going to do the edge in this colour too. Yeah, we've got a lot of pink going on, it's just because that makes them attractive, doesn't it? Pink ice cream, pink ice lollies. To do that bit pink as if it's got a hole in and you can see the outline of the ice lolly through it. I think it's quite a fun way to do it. Hmm. Try and decide whether to keep using this colour or go for a different colour. Hmm. I think I'll keep using it. It's a, I like this colour. I don't use it much. So I'm going to do this inside line as well with it. I think it would be quite fun if the, the lolly was white and pink and no other colours. But ice lollies are rarely white. The lemonade one is. But that's about it. They're normally um, coloured. Although the, um, what's it called? So a rocket or something? They used to have a white bit on the outside. Okay. Oh. Missed him. So I'm going to grab a lighter pink. Um, does that one work? No, I'm going to do a different shade. Then it'll be a different shade to this. This pink here, this is number 25. I'm going to try and do it quite lightly over here. It doesn't matter if we colour over the hearts a little bit. In fact, it makes it neater. Like that. I just go all the way round. And it's just significantly lighter. I think it's the same colour as the ice cream above. It's okay. And then our hearts will stand out, which is the idea. So I thought they would look nice with the white background, but... I just don't think that if it was a, a lolly, it wasn't a nice lolly, you know, a lollipop, I think it could be white, but I just don't remember there being lots of white ice lollies, as I say, apart from lemonade. I think my I, I, favourite ice lolly was the cider. So it's a nice one. Right. Do I continue with this? I think I'm going to introduce one other colour for these. 
Hmm. I'm thinking Palmer Violet. Maybe. Number 62. I don't know if you have Palmer Violet sweets or candies. Um, little tiny sugary sort of um, they're just like um, hard to describe um, chalky is the word sort of chalky type sweet there we go now I think I'm going to do a bit of that in here yeah they were uh, I didn't usually like them very much but um, if I was bought them I would eat them just because you know you do because they're sweets and they've got sugar in and they're addictive <laughs> but I didn't really like them I think my sister really hated them she used to give me hers she used to want to swap them for something I was like I don't really like them <laughs> oh dear I used to go and get um Pick and mix from the news agents. That's fun. I'm gonna use this darker one again. Number 23. For doing these roundy bits, I'm just gonna neaten that a bit. I haven't had sweets for a long time. I stopped eating sugar when I was about 18. Um I used to have sugar-free sweets and things like that, but I've stopped having those as well. This I don't think the sweetener does me any good. But, um, and uh, I didn't eat sugar again until I, the children were four years old. So I was probably in my 30s. Well, I was definitely in my 30s. I can't do the maths. But anyway, well, it would have been 12 years ago. So, yeah. Um, but, um, I, uh, I suppose I would have been 37, but, um, I gave it up again after a while, number 25, because I realised I'd got so badly addicted, I just couldn't stop eating it. And I think I realised at one time when I had some meringues, for some reason, I hate meringues, they're just sweet and nothingness. Is what I think. I really dislike them. My mum loves them. And uh, I had some in the house and I ate one and I didn't like it. But I ate the rest anyway. And I realised it was just the sugar. I just wanted, couldn't get enough of the sugar. And uh, it sort of started to make me realise I needed to stop. And then I was eating sort of three chocolate bars a day. And whole tubs of ice cream which I don't even like, you know. And I was like, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> so I just decided to stop and I knew I could. I'm going back to this light pink, number 25, because I'm not very happy with how this looks. It's quite difficult colouring when I'm um, on the very edge of the page. I'm just going to hold it flat and just make it a little bit more, a little bit neater. So I just sort of had to stop. But yeah, as I say, I knew I could stop, so I just completely stopped. And I was very glad that I did. And now, it it was hard at the beginning, especially when people offer you things that look delicious, that have got sugar in, and you don't want to eat it. But now, I don't want it anymore. I'm just... it. I don't crave it. I don't want it. You know, after a few months, maybe three months... It's just easy. You just don't want it. So, uh, I just, you know, the other day I was offered chocolate biscuits two or three times. I'm going to neaten up the number 23 bits here too now. And, yeah, it just didn't. I like chocolate, but um, I've, I eat 100% chocolate, it's got no added sugar sweetenings or anything it's just cocoa and you know it's really nice but it takes a lot of getting used to I don't eat it after, just after I've eaten a banana for example 
Let's realize we're not in the middle. Really sorry. So there we are. I'm happy with that now. I fiddled with it a little bit. So there is our final lolly. So uh, we have now finished the whole page. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole thing. We saw most of it yesterday because of doing the background, but I think it is just fun to have another little look at the finished page. I'm just going to get it a bit central for you. So thank you for following along with this tutorial. Whether you've just listened and watched or just listened, or whether you've had a go and coloured along or coloured something else along with me, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope it's been fun. It's felt quite summery and also cooling at the same time, which has been really nice for me. And uh, I've really enjoyed doing my first sort of big picture in my lovely book. Um, so that's been really good too. So uh, thank you so much. I hope that you um, enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll have a new series starting tomorrow. Don't ask me what. I've got no idea. I shall have a think about it tomorrow. <laughs> But thank you for watching and happy colouring.